Hey, this your boy at Triple Get em, man. Since the decade's over with, I'm finna hit y'all with a ranking of my top 15 projects from the 2010s. I made a lot of mixtapes, man. 2010, I made the Trappish. I made Alien Music. You know, I made I Smell Smoke the Mixtape. You know, I made a ton of shit, man. I made uh, All Day Bass Volume 1, Volume 2, All Day Bass Volume 3, All Day Bass Volume 4, All Day Bass Volume 5, 6, 7, 8. Goddamn, man, I made Fresher Kid, Fresher Kid 2. I made Project. You know, I made Turn Up 2014, Turn Up 2015. Turn up 2016, goddamn man. I made goddamn uh I made a Christmas album 2014. I done dropped so much shit this decade. I just really wanted to pin down what projects I like the most. What's my 15 favorite projects that I dropped through the 2010s? So that's what we're finna get into. And coming in at number 15, we got Legend 3, released on December 25th, 2015. So I don't even actually have a physical copy of Legend 3, so not much to say about this project. It's the last entry in the Legend series. There's never going to be a Legend 4. Legend is always just going to be a trilogy, just like Young King is going to always be a trilogy. Coming in at number 14, we got The Fire, released on February 21st, 2014. Yeah, so this is The Fire, 2014. This shit dropped the same day as the Triple Get on the documentary. February 21st, 2014. Yo, this shit's a banger. This shit got some motherfucking bangers on it, man. It's one of my better projects. I really rock with this tape. Coming in at number 13, we got my 2019 project, SoundCloud, released on April 11, 2019. So I ain't even got no copy of my last project, SoundCloud. But what I can say is... I rock with the project. It deserves to be in my top 15. It's good, but it's not as good as it should have been. I wish it would have been better, but I still rock with it. And coming in at number 12 is Young King, The Royal Empire. That shit dropped May 27, 2014, the same day my sketch comedy series premiered. Young King, The Royal Empire, man. I really wanted to set out and make a trilogy, and that's what I did. It deserves to be in my top 15, but unfortunately, it's the weakest out of the three. But it's still one of my favorite projects of mine. And coming in at number 11, we got my third studio album, 2012's Moments, which dropped October 2nd, 2012. That's my birthday, bitch. Shout out to Moments, man. I really, really rock with this album, man. It really holds up. It was recorded at... You know, one of the best times of my life, one of the best years of my life. You know, I look back on this album finally. You know, it could have been better, but it it's still great. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Shout out to Moments. Coming in at number 10, we got 2013's The Notorious T.R.I.P. That shit dropped July 16, 2013. The Notorious T.R.I.P., man. This was an interesting project because this one was coming off of Moments, really. Like, I had dropped some projects between, you know, Moments and this one, like Black Friday and, you know, Versace Dreams and, and Swag God and Fresher Kid EP and, you know, shit like that. But this was my first real full-length project since Moments. And I, you know... I really rock with this project. A lot of time, I put more time and effort in this project than I did a lot of my other mixtapes. So, you know, this one means a little more to me than some of the others. And, you know, I really rock with this project. I think it holds up well. The replay value is great, man. Shout out to this album, bro. I really rock with it. Coming in at number nine, we got Young King, Gold Crown Dynasty. That shit dropped April 20th, 2014. Coming in at number eight, Man, fuck, what number was it? And coming in at number eight, we got Life on Other Planets. That shit dropped July 9th, 2015. Yeah, Life on Other Planets, the first spinoff to a music series in hip-hop history. In, in fucking music history, probably. But goddamn it, Life on Other Planets, spinoff of Alien Music. It's a pretty dope project, man. I really rock with it. It holds up. It holds up well. It deserves to be on this list. 
Coming in at number seven, we got hashtag turn up 2016. That shit dropped February 29th, 2016. That was a leap year. We got a 29th. I said, fuck it, we dropping that shit on the 29th. Turn up 2016, man, was it was a great project, I think. I really had a lot of fun in the recording process of that project. Uh, you know, when I was making that, me and me and Satch had, and uh, we had linked back up, and you know, we we obviously went on to you know craft his project, uh, Ice Burn. Turn up 2016, man. I really rock with that project. I think it holds up well. I think I think it's the best out of the Turn Up uh, series. So with Turn Up 2016, I really came at that bitch hard. Like, I really wanted to go in on that motherfucker. Because Turn Up 2015, I really feel like it was one of my worst projects that I ever made. So I really wanted to come hard on the next one. I really wanted to show and prove on that bitch. I wanted to set the record straight. I wanted to flip the script. Coming in at number six, we got the Carter 7. That shit dropped November 18, 2015. The Carter 7 was an interesting project because that was the only project I ever made that I didn't have a name for. Like, every project I've made, every single one, I, if I was recording songs for a project, if I was working on a project, I knew the fucking name. With the Carter 7, I was just recording songs. I had no idea what the fucking, what it was going to go on. Were they even going to come out? Were they going to be singles? Just you know, throwaways, what the fuck, I, I didn't know, and, and, uh, little did I know, uh, I mean, I actually knew, but I, I guess I had forgot, uh, months ago, I had announced the Carter 7 on Tumblr or some shit, and that never even happened, and I'm thinking, I had a cover for it, I, I had a cover promoting it, and I said, what the fuck, the Carter 7, I got a whole this album's the Carter 7. So I just took that cover that I already announced. I mean, I already announced this project. I had a project with no name, and I said, fuck it. This is the Carter 7. This is the fucking Carter 7. So I recorded a couple of new songs to kind of incorporate the Carter 7, you know, theme, and then I went back over a couple of songs and added some C7 ad-libs and shit like that, and that's how Carter 7 became Carter 7. But originally... It was recorded as just a normal, it was recorded as just songs. With It was the only mixtape of mine, only project that was recorded with no name in mind. And uh, I previously announced the Carter 7, and, you know, these songs ended up becoming the Carter 7. So it, I think of all my projects, it probably has the most interesting story behind it. Coming in at number five, we got Bossa Nova. That shit dropped August 13, 2015. Bossa Nova. Ain't really much to say about Bossa Nova. It's just, it's, it's one of my favorite projects. It's one of the ones I go back and listen to the most. Out of all my projects, like, it, I mean, it's not the one I go back to the most, but it's, it's, it's one of the ones I go back to the most. Like, I, I still rock with it. So, shout out to Bossa Nova, man. Holds up. And coming in at number four, we got Legend 2. That shit dropped December 25th, 2014. Man, shout out to Legend 2. Legend 2 is great, I think, because it come out right after Alien Music 5. Like, right when I finished shit, while I was still working on Alien Music 5, I was working on Legend 2. So some of the fucking amazing fucking zone I was in on Alien Music 5 when I was working on that, you, that shit seeped over to Legend 2, and it made Legend 2 kind of almost as great as that. Like, Legend 2 just came out, you know, it, it, it was essentially the next project recorded after Alien Music 5, and some of that Alien Music 5 fucking shit just kind of seeped over to Legend 2, and it made it a great project, like... It's almost like an unofficial Alien Music 5 sequel just because they were recorded so close together. Legend 2, one of my favorites, still holds up. Shout out to this project, man. Coming in at number three, we got the Notorious T.R.I.P. 2. That shit dropped October 26, 2016. Notorious T.R.I.P. 2. 
I ain't got no physical copy of this one. But this is one of my best projects to date. By far, top three. I love this project, top to bottom. You know, I feel like, you know, if you've never heard me before, you know, this is probably the project you wanna, you know, maybe start with. And coming in at number two, we got Young King, A World Lost, and that shit dropped March 18th, 2014. Young King, A World Lost, man, this project, is by far one of my favorites, man. I love so much about this project. Man. I was really in my zone on this project. It was kind of like ahead of its time, man. Like, it's still one of my favorites, like top two, obviously. Like, it, it's just the themes I was talking about still relevant today. Like, this was a deeper project than most of my projects. Most of my shit was just me, you know, flossing or flexing or whatever and just talking my shit. But this project was me trying to, you know, get deeper and dig deeper. And it, it still holds up. I love it. It's one of my favorites by far. And coming in at number one, yeah, we finally made it here. Coming in at number one is Alien Music 5. And you know that shit dropped October 30th, 2014. Alien Music 5. You already know it. This the classic. This is my favorite project that I ever made. I put more effort into this one than I put into any other project that I ever did. I worked for months. I worked long on this project than any of my other projects. This shit still holds up. Alien Music 5, best project to date. So that about wraps it up, man. The decade's over with. I just wanted to go back and rank some of my old projects, see how they stand up, see how they hold up, you know, see which ones I like the most and rank my top 15 projects I did in the 2010s. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Happy New Year. Shout out to the 2020s. This decade's over with. Hey, the video's over too.